<laughs> Same person. We know what he is now. It means I'm keeping Acolyte. You know, probably get quick removal, Fire Axe, and Brawl. Like, Mulliganing more cards. I, I was thinking Sans because it's good, but. More important for me to get the Brawl and Fire War Axe. Especially since Fire War Axe keeps down Battle Rage. Okay, so Emperor is in this deck for a very specific reason. And that's in Control Mirrors. Emperor allows me to play Bran and Doomcaller on the same turn, one Emperor activation. Some crazy tempo play. I mean, I know he has another three drop, but. When I didn't play on first. I need one more. At worst case is I Doom Caller again. It's actually more relevant than I expected. Just get my Cthulhu to 10 sometimes. I have to shield sign this guy. Gorhal is a really good draw because it gives me a very good turn 7 play into turn 8. Also, it's really nice to have Gorhal after Brawl. I can kill whatever survives. The fight counts me in. Everyone is in here. I have no time for games. During a play, I need to think a lot about before making Sir Gorhal. But I, I kind of, I guess I kind of did think a lot about it. It's seems a lot better because I also have brawl in my hand, and I don't, I never get to clear both patrons Everyone with Gore Hamel, So I had to kind of get lucky there, 50% of the time. I uh, got a $2 donation from WV1121. Hey Strife, I've really enjoyed watching for the past year and you inspire me to keep playing. Thanks for the donation. He doesn't use any executes. This is just to get my Cthulhu to 10 though. I still have my shield, like executes and shield slams. Those are cards I'm really looking for. I feel like it's gonna be hard to gore howl Grom just because it'd be mostly after the enrage.
need a brawl shield slammer execute. I needed my guy to win, because I'm too far behind here, I needed my guy to win the brawl, so I went and played him first. Like, a lot of times I can't really drop him after if a patron wins, and he doesn't really contest any of the other minions anyways. Pretty sure he already has lethal. It's like 24, right? That's no, 23. Controller seems like a deck where uh, you win a lot more going first than second. I actually think after playing this deck a little bit more that it feels like your mulligans should be different going first than second, especially against aggro decks. Like I think it's much better to keep back like going first than second for the most part. Hey, hey, do you want to buy a funnel cake? Okay, I think my list isn't even right. Oh, I know what this is. I, I I feel like I don't have Harrison. I was under assumption that I had Harrison. This document looks legally binding. So even if he does Raptor here, I get so much value from the 4-2 Divine Shield that it almost makes up for it. A lot of these Summoner, Huckster lists are Reno lists, I feel. And a little bit less likely there. What I'm looking for is Emperor into an AoE effect, Ravaging Ghoul.
I might just start slamming my own acolytes to troll. My blade be thirsty. We don't really need Brawl, what we're looking for is Ravaging Gold. There's not that many minions on board. Worth it. I didn't really like playing double acolyte plus Kuthin's Chosen because Kuthin's Chosen is so bad against Huxer and the weapon. It's interesting, I'm two damage AoE with Bran. I can also buff up my Kuthun to 14. It's a lot of options here. I'm in a really good shape this game. I think I, I might even be able to beat a Nubarak. My hand is so good now that I drew a lot of cards. I have Sylvanas, really good against Death Rail decks. I might get sapped, definitely need to execute that guy. Plus, even if he doesn't have sap, he has so much stuff that even executing that guy, I have a lot of value from Sylvanas. There's not really reason not to unless I want to save it for something. It's 10, 13 damage, could probably do it one more time. Should be a way for me to choose what to steal here. At least semi decently. I, I, I messed up a little bit, although I'm, I'm not sure it matters too much, but I, I thought that one of the ghouls would, like, I thought the ghoul would get through, like, damage some of the stuff after. It should be fine either way, though, because I need to do two damage to see Reaver in order for me to trade my guy in. Probably no Enzoth, which is good for me. <laughs> this guy's tough. Even a nub doesn't save him here. He needs ends off because he can't even afford to take damage from the knives. Not even to remove these guys, really. I've Cthulhu fourteen damage. I have no time for games. <laughs> <laughs> 